Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got an isosceles triangle ABC as you can see in this figure such that our this angle A is X and moreover this side length AC and this side length AD and this side length BC are equal in length and side length BD equal to this side length CD and now we are going to find the value of this angle X. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this big triangle ABC and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side AC equal to this side BC. So therefore if this angle is X then this angle is going to be X as well. So therefore our angle B turns out to be X as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right hand side this smaller triangle BCD. And we can see that this triangle BCD is an isosceles triangle as this side BD equal to this side CD. So therefore if this angle is X this angle is going to be X as well. So thus our this angle BCD turns out to be equal to X. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle BCD. Now let's recall this triangle sum theorem. The sum of all three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So that means this angle, this angle and this angle is going to be 180 degrees. Let me go ahead and call this angle alpha. Then the sum of all these three angles X plus X plus alpha must be equal to 180 degrees. So that is going to give us on the left hand side 2X plus alpha equals to 180 degrees. So let's move this uh, 2X on the right hand side. So alpha turns out to be 180 degrees minus 2x. So therefore this angle alpha turns out to be 180 degrees minus 2x this angle. So therefore this angle BDC is 180 degrees minus 2x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this left hand side triangle ADC. And we know that this whole straight angle is 180 degrees. And we know on this side this angle is 180 degrees minus 2x. Let me go ahead and call this side this angle as beta. Then sum of these two angles beta plus this angle 180 degrees minus 2x is going to be equal to 180 degrees or we can write beta plus 180 degrees minus 2x. We are going to remove these parentheses equal to 180 degrees. Now this 180 degrees and 180 degrees is gone. So beta turns out to be equal to 2x. So therefore this angle beta turns out to be simply 2x. So thus our angle ADC turns out to be 2x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ADC once again and we know that this triangle ADC is an isosceles triangle since this side AC equal to this side AD. Therefore if this angle is 2x this angle is going to be 2x as well. So therefore our angle ACD turns out to be 2x. 
And here's our final step. Let's focus on this triangle CAD. And let's recall triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of these three interior angles is always equal to 180 degrees. That means this angle plus this angle plus this angle must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, I can write the sum of these angle, angle CAD plus angle ACD plus angle ADC, they are all sum equal to 180 degrees. And we know that this angle CAD is X. So I'm going to replace this one by X plus this angle ACD is 2X and then plus this angle ADC is 2X as well equals to 180 degrees. So this is going to be 5X equal to 180 degrees and we are going to solve for X. Let me go ahead and divide both sides by 5 to isolate X. This 5 and 5 is gone, so x turns out to be equal to 36 degrees. So the value of angle x turns out to be 36 degrees. That's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.